I'm here. I'll highlight the server with the AR reconstruction software. It's out of reach, so you'll need to use a heavy card. No drone to steal it. You're good to go. I stashed the server in your ride. It's all yours. Be careful. Don't want that going kaboom. Still can't believe I let a fucking computer talk me into this. Cheers, mate.
CTOSAR. Data reconstruction in progress. This will do. Remain in the area until I've downloaded enough data to the server. Download complete. I need a wider sample of data, so I'm pushing you the coordinates to a new location. This is brilliant. Look at this. It's compiling data from the surveillance infrastructure. Nearby CTOS drones, civilian optics, CCTV, and then it assembles those scraps into what happened in this location 24 hours ago. Fantastic. CTOSAR. Data reconstruction in progress. All right. Scraping data from optics, CTOS cameras, microphones, laptops. Say, do you reckon SRS uses this to watch people shag? Fucking hell. Do they use it for anything but watching people shag? Bagley, we've got company. Well, shit. Can you do anything to lose your new friends? Maybe invite them to a pottery night or overshare something personal. Whatever you do, just get to the last location in one piece. Fuck it. All right. Transfer complete. I'm missing one last data set. Pushing you the coordinates to the location now. CTOSAR. Data reconstruction in progress. Suspect. It's still on me, Bagley. Don't let the drones destroy the server before I'm done. Get out of the lorry and take care of them. Shoot them. Throw rocks at them. 
Destroy them psychologically with cyberbully. Just keep them busy until the transfer is complete. Be careful, it's taking too much damage. A few more hits and it's toast. This server forever. We should probably wipe our prints off it anyway. <laughs> Overload the CPUs to cause a power spike and destroy the battery unit. The electromagnetic pulse should destroy both the server and the drones. So, you know, run! Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Been pulled off a heist, made life a bit harder for the tyrants of the world, and most importantly, I got a new toy to play with. Now, run along back to the safe house. Sabine wants you and your new teammates for a briefing. Suspect has disappeared.
Well done, team. It's good to see the safe house filling up again. The only way we're going to keep London from falling into total oppression is by rebuilding the resistance. We need to recruit, train, build back our arsenal. The people are itching to rise up and take their city back. We just need to show them that DedSec are fighting along with them. To be honest, I think I'd be put to better use in the skull cracking department. I'm sure Albion is turning a tidy profit. Those cunts are treating London like a hostile takeover. Yeah, but Clan Kelly are the ones taking real advantage. We need to lay the boots on them too. Fair, but remember that this zero day hacker group is still out there. They took out DedSec once, and it's a good bet they'll try again. I believe they were responsible for the bombings and framed DedSec. With your help, I plan to get to the bottom of this mystery. I'd say that's a full docket. Enough talk. Let's unfuck London. I found a lead that may help us unravel more about Zero Day and the bombings we ate shit for. I picked up an encrypted signal from the Tone Conference site that's been broadcasting on a loop since the night of the bombing. Go investigate. You might even get to try out that fancy new AR tech we stole. I mean, creatively shared. Tough, brave, stupid. Any two of those qualify you to join. Some of us are all three. Brilliant. Finally found my people. Very nice.
We were supposed to be here that day. Thank you, dodgy pub field. We'd be lying here dead with the rest of them otherwise. Aren't they supposed to be rebuilding? Nothing's been done. Said I'll be sniffing around like dogs for a bone. Something's dodgy. Just what I was thinking. What am I looking for, Bagley? Any kind of device or component that could still be emitting the signal. It seems to be coming from within the rubble.
all the fuck. This is it. The signal is coming from this spiderbot fragment. No indication yet who it belongs to. Something's completely mangled it. Christ. What's it doing here? Difficult to say, but with an AR reconstruction, we may be able to see what happened to it and if it relates to the attack. Access data relays in the vicinity, and I can compile enough data to build the AR reconstruction. Perfect, two more data relays to go. data relay and I'll have it. Stay the fuck down if you know what's good for you. Take the audio from this stream and the video from these 36 and... Got it. Go back to where you found that spider bot and I'll show you the AR reconstruction from the night of the explosion. Grand. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. You brought the payload? 
fuck? Think we'd go back to you? Don't cuff the Kelly dog. Kelly? Wait, isn't Clan Kelly? You're telling me those gangster folks had something to do with all of this? This was just a delivery. Clan Kelly probably made a mint supply in the bombs. So, who was it they were meeting? It didn't seem close. Maybe zero day? Well, don't just stand there. Keep looking. Bagley, can you work out who was running that spider bot? I've now fully decrypted the signal the spider bot is broadcasting. And while I cannot identify a specific user, it is a call code used by the Metropolitan Police Service. Fuck me. The man had eyes on this while it went down. That's heavy. The reconstruction continues behind that rubble. We don't have some kind of quantum tunneling device in a shed somewhere, do we? Quantum tunnel technology is at least 10 years away, but spider bots and drones are here today. You could try one of those if you don't feel like waiting. Good idea.
Why don't you aim those human eyeballs of yours at the van's cargo? Grand! RDX Nitrogen, and the exact same detonator system like the bombs that were planted at Parliament. Zero day. There, hurry. We've got all the deliveries. So you were hired to supply all the targets? Got it. We're all on need to know. Fuck me. So Zero Day was using a bunch of groups to pull off the bombings. That's certainly one way to pull off a massive coordinated attack while remaining anonymous. Zero Day needed manpower and resources, but they needed them at an arm's length. And it doesn't take the world's greatest AI detective to see that both Clan Kelly and Albion benefited in the aftermath. Unfortunately, this is the most we can get out of the AR reconstruction. But if we could find the mystery officer who was spying through the spider bot, maybe they could tell us more. Tracing the Spiderbot serial number, it was assigned to New Scotland Yard three years ago. Perhaps more information about its user or its assignment will be available at the station. So the police were onto the real bombers, but they kept their mouths shut for some reason. Doesn't add up. We don't have all the facts yet. The only way to know for sure is to investigate New Scotland Yard. Christ, Albion's taking this place over like a fucking parasite. And the entire police service. But don't worry, if you're not pleased with your privatised goon squad, just take your business across the street. Didn't think I could feel bad for an English police, but fucking hell. Not to worry, the only difference now is the uniform, assault weapons, and the fact they're motivated by profit over public service. Now, any record or information on the Spiderbot will be further in.
I'll keep looking. All good. I'll try somewhere else. Wait. What was that noise? Get Check. up! Bagley, is this our spoiler bot? According to the serial numbers, this matches the piece of spider bot from the Tone bombing site. Can you ID the last user? Navigate the spider bot from out of that room. I'll need a direct connection in order to learn more from our bisected friend. I'm on it. That opening right there looks like a good exit point. Right, get comfy. This spider bot might be broken and missing some of its legs, but it can still jump and fit through vents. That's a good way to get through the station undetected.
That's Dalton's mask. It must have been recovered from Parliament. It might be the only thing left of him now. You look at all this junk. You'll have to jump your way across to get to the next bent opening. decided they couldn't be trusted to do their jobs. Suddenly some corporation could clean up our streets better than the same police force we've had for who knows how long. When crime fighting is treated like a business, crime will never go away. That would be bad for business, right? So don't tell me Albion has our best interests up. Sod that. If the police could handle their job, Albion would be necessary. But they can't. Home bombing is a perfect example. Much later over the top. Is that how it's done then? You're almost there. Make your way through this last bent path. Scanning Spybot and accessing its internal drives. While I'm analyzing this data, you should make yourself scarce. Unless you'd like to explain to your new, heavily armed, privatized police force why you've broken into the station. Fine. The Spiderbot fragment you found has a satellite-based GPS module that regularly pushed its location to a specific ground station. A secret location? None of this makes sense. We better go check it out. Pushing you the ground station's coordinates.
now to find a way in. I'm detecting a surveillance network guarding a space under this bridge. If you can patch into it, perhaps you can take a look inside. The GPS history of the spider bot we recovered regularly pinged these coordinates. Our mystery witness to the real bombers must have come to this lovely, damp location several times. It's remote. Good place to fly under the radar. Or to discreetly dump a body into the Thames. Control, we are pursuing the target. Shots fired, shots fired! Oh, stop! No! Right, I'm taking a look.
Well, tiddle me bollocks. It's like a wee little cup station here. What's it down on one, though? Well, if Albion was stomping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch, too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. Sure, I'm with you. But what were they working on that would lead them to the town bombing? The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. This is Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former inspector now. Since Albion's coup, the Met is no more. The police brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved, and they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book, going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I? Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well, this will be my last entry, but I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. Ah, this is all starting to come together. I knew Albion were grade-A cunts, but working with Clan Kelly gives them something to hide. It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion included. They're taking people off the streets. Zero Day or not, we have to do something. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead. Huh? Well, looks like I can hold me on with all you dead sec resistance fighters after all. You wouldn't have been recruited if dead sec thought you'd be killed that easily. Right. Guess I'll take that as a compliment, Bagley. Bagley's got a special style. You'll grow to love it. Well done, by the way. This Albion Clan Kelly business leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And if Caitlin Lau's right, then this little nugget jumps to the front of the queue. We have reason to believe a former DedSec operative may still be alive, but missing inside the EPC. Angel Lopez, not London born, but I won't hold that against him, unlike some others. Looks like Angel got caught up in the immigration roundup, which, ironically, may be the only reason he escaped Zero Day's DedSec purge. Anti-immigrant sentiment has grown in London since the bombings. Albion fuels it. It allows them to send anyone they want to their brutal refugee camp. We need to find Angel before they discover he's DedSec. This is kind of personal team. But finding his trail might just shed some light on the Albion Clan Kelly connection. Shit. Well, good news it is. Deportees aren't leaving the UK. They just chuck them in the EPC and then they look the other way. I've sent the details to your device and advised our contact at the EPC. They can get you inside. <laughs> 